Welcome! In front of me I have Amazfit Active Edge and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the select button. Once you see the Amazfit logo on the screen, you can release the button and wait until the watch is done booting up. After the watch boots up, you should see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list by swiping up and down. Now find the language you would like to use on your watch and once you find it, tap on it to select it. Then tap on the check mark and you should see the uh, QR code. Now basically we need to do go to our iPhone. Make sure we have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once we do, open the App Store. In the App Store, tap on the search icon, then tap on the search bar and type in Z. And tap on search. And you should see this application on the list, Z application. Tap on it, then tap on the get button to download and install the application. After the application is done installing, you can tap on open button to, hit to open the app. In the app, if you see this pop-up, tap on allow. And now we need to log in into a Zep account. If you don't have an account, you can always sign up by tapping on sign up button, or you can use different party accounts like Apple, uh, Facebook or Google. I already have an account, so I'm gonna log in. Okay, tap on sign in. After you log in, you may see more pop-ups about the uh, permissions. Here we have the permission for the uh, first location. You can allow it or deny it. This is useful if you want to uh, track your uh, workouts on the map. So for example, if you go for a run, you can track your route. Uh, also the weather local weather services and stuff like that. Anything that requires location. You can allow it or deny it. Next we have the um, access to motion and fitness activity. So if you want to use some features like um, calorie burning, uh, steps and stuff like that. Anything that requires basically the fitness activity, you need to allow this permission. Next we have the notifications. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. If you don't care, you can deny it. If you want to use it, to tap on allow. And finally, we have the access Apple Health. Tap on OK. Um, and here, basically, you can enable and disable the options. And basically, what you're doing is to allow the app to write and read data from different health features. If you don't care about it, you can tap on don't allow. If you want to use the health features, tap on allow. I'm gonna turn it on all and tap on allow. And once you're done with the permissions, you should see the home page of the app. Now tap on profile icon and here you should see a category called my devices and on it or under it, there should be add device button. Tap on it, select watch, tap on agree, tap on allow. It will open the camera app. And what we need to do is to basically scan the QR code with the phone's camera. So you need to point it at the watch it's going to scan the QR code and start pairing the uh, devices. Tap on the check mark on the watch. Here we can synchronize data from our account to our watch. So it's something like settings, uh, alerts and other um, data. I'm just going to tap on set as new device. But if you want to synchronize information, you can check the boxes right here and then tap on synchronize account info. Now tap on done, done. And at this point you should see your Amazfit Active Edge on the device page. And if you wake up the screen on your watch, you should be able to uh, use it. So that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.